Hello everybody, we're the Electric Pixel Factory and today we're going to show you a little bit more about our game Gorilla Gondola. Last week you may have seen the trailer for the game, which we hope you enjoyed. Today we're going to show you a little bit more about how the game is actually played. OK, so here we are entering the first level. So we're going to show you the basic controls. OK, so here is Gorilla. Uh, Gorilla likes bananas and the more bananas Gorilla collects during the level, the more points he'll get. OK, so to collect bananas you swipe up to jump. You swipe a little harder to jump higher and swipe down to stomp. The power of your swipes will directly influence the height in Gorilla's jumps and the power in his stomps. Here we are collecting a few bananas using a mixture of light swipes and harder swipes. And finally we're going to show you the tilt function. By tilting the device left and right we can control both the speed and the angle of the gondola. This comes in handy later on for those more precise manoeuvres. OK, so there we are at the end of the first phase, that was an easy one. We're going to go forward a little bit now and show you how to dodge obstacles. The obstacles in Gorilla Gondola come in many different shapes and sizes. Here we have the easy to avoid small ones. And coming up now we have the floaty islands, such as this lovely cow. We can bounce underneath the obstacles, on top, or as you just saw there, we can do split jumps, which we'll explain a bit more about later on. Coming up now, we have one of the game's power-ups, the magnet, and as you're about to see, has the effect of magnetising all the bananas in the area towards Gorilla, which will contribute to your high score and total of bananas. Here we have some slightly larger obstacles, which are slightly more difficult to avoid and require a bit more bouncing. The closer you get to an obstacle and avoiding it, and the riskiness of the manoeuvre will affect how many points you get for successfully clearing it. So we're going to move forward to level 3 now and show you some of the more cool features found in later on in the game. Fans and Gates. So we have two types of gate in Gorilla Gondola. We have the Red Gorilla Gate and the Blue Gondola Gate. The aim is to jump and bounce to get the respective character or the gondola through the correctly coloured gate for more points. Get both through the gates at the same time and you win a combo bonus. Here we have the fans. The fans can be switched on or off by tapping the screen where the big blue button lies on the fan. The fans will push you forward at a much higher velocity than the gondola would normally travel. So the fans will also blow us to the top and the bottom of the screen and up and around obstacles. This fan is going to get us over this obstacle here. There we go. Now we're going to turn this fan on here to blow us over the clock tower. So now we're going to collect a few more bananas and then we're going to show you one of the cool gameplay sequences in which the fans will blow us through a sequence of gates. Check this out. And there we have a nice little combo bonus. And there we have the fans giving Gorilla a wild ride on his gondola. So now we'd like to show you one of the later levels in the game for some more of the cool features found. Here we take Gorilla and his gondola underwater. Not everything is out to get you. Here we have surprise switches. By pressing these switches, different types of bonuses will come out of the surprise tubes. Sometimes it'll be bananas and other times power-ups. Here we go, here we have a few more bananas to add to our collection. We'll bounce and collect these ones. And we'll dodge this water boy here. Each time an obstacle is successfully dodged, a blue orb will light up in the multiplier circle in the top right of the screen, as you'll see when we jump this shark. When the circle is completely blue, the player's multiplier level will increase, offering potential for a higher score. However, if the player crashes the gondola, the multiplier will drop a level. So for the high score chasers among you, it is recommended that you get your bounce on and your dodging skills sharp. Up to now, pressing the surprise switch has revealed nice things, like a useful power-up or more bananas. However, this isn't always the case. On this occasion, the surprise tube has gifted us with a mine, which, being explosive, is not good. Luckily, on this occasion, we managed to avoid it, but they can cause problems. So, moving on to the last part of today's demo, we're going to show you another one of the game's levels before we wrap up. So here we are on the game's cavern level, where we're going to show you a little bit more obstacle dodging, a bit more banana collecting, and an introduction to a couple more of the game's power-ups. So here we are dodging a few more obstacles using the swipe and the tilt we showed you earlier. And here we are dodging a minefield, which there are a lot of in the game. These are slightly more deadly as they result in an instant death if hit. 
We're going to use slightly larger swipes to overcome these slightly larger obstacles, including this one from the ceiling, dodging the mine. If you find your jump isn't quite timed right, you can use the tilt to readjust yourself. Here we have the anvil power-up, which makes Gorilla very heavy. And here is the power-up that's the opposite, the balloons, which make you light and floaty. By combining the different power-ups and different gameplay sequences, we can get some interesting effects. Okay, so we're going to wrap up for today. We have really enjoyed sharing some more of Gorilla Gondola with you, and we hope you have had an equal pleasure in watching it. There is still a lot more to show, but we would like to let you discover that for yourselves. So, it's goodbye from us at Electric Pixel Factory, and we hope to see you on the second. Bye for now.